Normally, when you've purchased a license, it will automatically be deposited into your account.avid.com account. When it's been deposited, it will show up in the My Products and Subscriptions. It might look something like this, where it shows you all of your products. You're always going to have Avid Link. You may or may not have Pro Tools, but if I click on Pro Tools, it shows me that I have the three-month subscription that's associated with school closures for COVID-19. Now, if I do not have this, most of the time it's just going to be deposited straight into your account. But sometimes you might receive a serial number from your teacher, from a store that you purchased something from, or from Avid itself. Here's what to do if you're in that scenario. You go back to the main page on account.avid.com, and then you click on Avid Software Activation and Download. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is validate your account. So if you don't validate your account, you're not going to be able to actually use the software and it's not going to deposit it onto your iLock account. So I will type in my information here. And then it's going to take you to this activate product page, copy it directly from the source and paste it straight in and click activate product. So you may get this error here. Your billing address needs to be validated before you can continue. Visit this page to update and verify your information. Then I can activate my product. It needs to verify my email address as well. So it asked me if the email address associated with my account is the best place to contact me at. I click yes. And then I go to my email address. And I have a, an email from them. I just click the link. So if you haven't followed the steps for creating an iLock account in the other videos, I'd look into that but I'm just gonna go for it here. If you do it through Avid, it's also relatively simple. I'm just going to let them create one automatically for me in this case. If you already have one, you don't need to do this. And there it is, my three month subscription. This should also show up on my iLock and be ready to use in my iLock cloud.